This is an unused sequel to the well-known and popular series of Disney After Dark, a start to the Kingdom Keepers franchise. Keep in mind that the actual setting takes place in Orlando, Florida, it sets off in Curry Ford Road, then its destination to Lake Buena Vista, and it completes within two settings mentioned. Before we start however, I would like to know some changes and a few minor issues once we begin reading this story. Take note that this is not just part of the Lost THX trailers, of which is somewhat used for creepypastas for story writers like Robin M.C. Chase and Brian themselves, and it's no relation to the company THX Limited, a subsidiary of Razor. For users that have fear of the THX logo or that don't have fear of the logo itself, if you still have encountered a scariest logo in which you are interested to, the creepypastas that have to deal with Lost THX trailers are available in the playlist. When you search for Lost THX trailers creepypasta on your YouTube website or search it on your device, if necessary. With that being said, the characters and theme parks mentioned in this story are part of the setting, and all attractions based on this theme park have been trademarked by the Walt Disney Company and its subsidiaries and affiliates. The many alterations that are being used in this story may differ to the Disney After Dark series, although the persons or characters that were being introduced to said first series of this book are rendered as fictitious, and does not bear any resemblance to a person or character living or dead, which is entirely coincidental. All suggestive information based on this story are applicable by all means necessary, and the themes mentioned is also used, for all fictional purposes whatsoever. I would however, write this story in record time, if I still have time to think of something which does not have to be a creepypasta, and maybe save my work in notepad or possibly in Google Keep, but unfortunately I can't do it because of the temperature that was being put into my Surface Pro, resulting my laptop or PC go through a boot loop or a logo flash, meaning that I can see the Windows logo for approximately 5 to 6 seconds, and after it comes in for 5 seconds or more, it just switches off and... I can only see a black screen, meaning that my laptop, or PC, still can't boot up nor function or work properly due to it not being able to recover what's left of my laptop. Surely, I must figure out what to do with my Surface Pro, even if the logo still flashes, and believe me, I have tried many actions to let it function, I even used the wrong USB flash drive that proves to be holding 128GB instead of the usual 16 or 32GB, and the drive format was not already in FAT32 mode. Probably the drive was in XFAT in which I wasn't sure about something, but it turns out all of these things I've tried have subsequently failed for, whatever reason there is to have, and confusingly I may have to write this story through my Samsung notes, before I start to copy and paste it through Google Keep, which is in fact the only source I may be able to use, before I do something to my Surface Pro. If you have just listened to what I wrote about the changes that will differ throughout the story, maybe this will affect you and maybe your family's lives, as the story begins. So, to ensure your ongoing experience, this video will be sponsored by Uber Duck and all Disney characters will be voiced in not only real actors, they will be generated through artificial intelligence once I begin writing. And one thing I don't forget is my short epilogue in which this is one of the first to use in this genre. We will begin this story with an epilogue. If you've thought of when watching the Lost THX trailers in which the other three users encountered in their lives was the scariest, well I've got to say that this didn't scare me the slightest, although I do be experiencing some mild to less traumas and possibly, if I couldn't be able to sleep, the nightmares of the THX logo may still come to life just like what they encountered, but it didn't affect me a little bit, so I would find this a bit interesting to know, if my life was something that no one couldn't tell, or the creepypasta stories that were being told by other users were considered to be just fabrications, I was not too sure if I'd experienced something bad, but this was way more mysterious than what my past adventures would feel like. Here's what it all happened before during my graduation experience. It was officially June 17, 2021. That moment of truth, when we decided to do something for our first celebration, since we graduated from high school, and we thought to ourselves that, if we could go on any kind of theme park, it can be much more easier, if we just look for one. So, I used a map to find, where we should go and maybe lead the path to the most magical place on Earth, which is, Disney World. Not only that for the time being, but I recently added many of my people and my friends in the contacts app, and to make this true, when we lead us to a theme park, we would all find a place to rest. So, we waited for the perfect time to go. Then, 20 minutes after, our decision was extremely final, we were all set for our first grand vacation, which is our destination to Disney World. 
me and my brother were already on the car, pretending that he is the driver and I am in the passenger seat. Not after long, it was a mile away from our home, and we seemed to believe that our parents will then call or text us if our days have been better or for the worse. 45 minutes after, we were at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa to check us in, and one thing is for sure that the man whom I haven't met is visitor friendly and meets a lot of customers or visitors who they want to come and stop by. Your room number is 6548, right between the first floor. You don't have to use the elevator, though. He then said to us, Thank you, customer service man. It's off to the car and onto where we find ourselves a parking spot for our car. I then opened up the backside of the car and took everything out including the bag that was already in the backside. So, everything was still inside of the car so I had to open the second right door and take what's left of and we were ready to unlock it. Once we were in the door, he opened it, and to our surprise, the room was filled with not just the people or my Disney characters around. It was filled with something we actually don't see in our actual house, but there were renovations to what everything looks like. I walked in the first room and noticed there was a latch on the upper left of the now movable couch. I tried pushing the latch but it contains no effect. I tried pulling it but my arms doesn't have the strength to pull it out. So I helped my brother to pull it down, and finally, it worked to us. I never knew that the couch was actually transformed into a bed, and I was only thinking, what kind of innovation did those Imagineers have to recreate all of this? Suddenly, my brother pointed to a table, which it can transform into a bed as well. I then pulled it down, and to us, we had never seen a bed without a pillow, and a blanket. It was a simple, white mattress. And what I see on the upper part of the bed was a picture of Goofy, riding a jockey horse, while reading a newspaper or a magazine. We'd never seen renovations take place before, but that's all just the beginning of our first ever grand vacation that we've ever had in years. First, I used a map to find our destination to Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is just 10 to 15 minutes away from our home resort. We didn't have to take the car to go to there, so we had to walk to the bus station just for almost 4 miles. It was actually 20 minutes to lead us to said station, but suddenly, when we walked so close to the bus station, there were almost two people and nearly three Disney characters sitting down on multiple chairs but one was also reserved for the both of us. I then sat down with my brother, right next to the three Disney characters, and two people behind it. One character resembling Goofy talked to me and my brother, wanting to know about all the vacations they've experienced since part of their childhood. Do you know a lot of magical moments you'd have experienced since your childhood? Goofy said to us. To be truly clear, yes. We have a lot of exciting and yet mysterious moments we wish we wouldn't find out the clue to this problem. I said to Goofy. I believe it's kind of like a mystery adventure, better than a grand vacation. He replied. I was pretty confused at the moment. I then got back on track with a Disney character that resembles Goofy. Sound like you two have a lot in common. You might consider yourselves detectives or for Disney. Goofy answered to us. I think so, but we'd rather be known as the top secret agents of the Kingdom Keepers. I added. With a smart goof like me, I would join you even if I have to. One character resembling Max Goof replied to me and also my brother. You should, Max Goof. After all, we've been knowing to figure out the codes by memory in order to unlock any attraction, any dining restaurant or even any shopping center, and by doing it is very simple, if we just know how to solve it for the brain, and the mind. I then agreed to Max Goof. One Disney character on the left side resembling Donald Duck which is between one person and Goofy, said to the both of us. Won't this your interpretation for being Frollo dash Frollo in our Donald said to us. Ours is like a higher one. We always inspect whatever or wherever we find it to be only a mysterious place or just a regular kind of place, as long as we use our cellular devices to figure out any code, either being four digit or five digit, or almost any digit we can unscramble. Until we can look for clues to solve this inspection, no one can tell if either anyone is the culprit or not. I then said to Donald. That's a big like a Donald agreed. It was approximately 6.17 in the afternoon, and yet we find a Disney transport bus, with a sign that displays Disney's Hollywood Studios on the top, reflecting the bus on the left side. Is this really our destination to said theme park? Without a moment too soon, the first door opens, and the bus driver that resembles a Disney character named Mickey now said to us and everyone on the bus station. You guys on board for Disney's Hollywood? The bus driver resembling Mickey said. We sure are, Mickey! Goofy said. Mr. Mickey, we are all set to board. 
we said to the bus driver. So everyone including the three Disney characters, me, and my brother, decided to walk through the steps of a bus, and suddenly, the entire bus is almost crowded with almost six people and thirteen Disney characters and some of them have reserved seats available for us, two people and three Disney characters, which we all sat down on either rows of the seat. We actually chose randomly, and so do Donald, Max Goof, and possibly Goofy. With that, I've met one Disney character resembling Phil, and the other resembling Pete the Cat. They were both talking about other things including their last inspection about an encounter of something very mysterious. I then sat down with two of the other characters resembling Phil and Pete. Looks like you are new here. A character resembling Phil asked me. Well, trainer of heroes, I came here because you and Pete had talked about something mysterious during your last inspection. I said to Phil. I did say anything about that but it wasn't a clue to the inspection. Me and Pete were just figuring out that was it some kind of woman who works here, or is it a type of unemployed manager who also was fired ten times ago? He then said to me, that will remain a secret unless we know who that manager is. I then replied to Phil, you sure got everything you have up for some booze. One character resembling Pete agreed with me. I can absolutely clarify your statement true. I said to Pete. At a moment later, the bus started moving and we were on our way to our first site, Disney's Hollywood Studios. So far, it was particularly our first time we'd managed to do something no other detective or top secret agent has ever solved the mystery before. What will remain a clue to the entire problem, if we were finding a code to access the desired location? The question is entirely unknown. Are there any suspicious sightings we've seen in Disney's Hollywood Studios? One remains unknown as well. As we make our way to complete this mystery, our adventures still continue to this day, as we follow one of its tracks to have the mystery solved in memory time.